and welcome back to the Turdford channel. All right, today's video is on using IJK notation. This is a type of vector notation, which is uh, really a calculus notation, but of course, we'll be feel free to use it in physics as well. And so let's just get into this. So as you take a look at these, this A and this B, these are both vectors. And a lot of times they'll put like this little notation here on top where I've got a little whole arrow. I do the half arrows. But something that lets you know, hey, this is a vector. Matter of fact, it's not just that this is a vector. What it's doing in this I and J notation is it's already telling you the components of that vector. And that's what we've been given here are the vectors components. So in other words, if I was asked to define vector A, well, I guess I better before I get carried away, I better make sure you know what the I stand for. The I is just nothing but referring to essentially X, and this J is referring to nothing more than Y. And so when you see this notation, it says it is a vector that is 2 in the X. So if I was to come down here and look at this, I would be saying vector A is basically a vector that's X component is 2, and vector A's Y component is 3. And so that defines vector A, which means vector A, there would also be a resultant to vector A. And I could actually find what vector A was, and that resultant this is the notation you'd usually use for the resultant. Some math teachers get crazy. They throw like three bars on each side. But that means resultant. You already know how to do a resultant. A resultant is nothing more than Pythagorean. So in this case, A, now I'm just going to simplify it with a pair of bars like that. A is actually going to be 2 square plus 3 square. Take a square root. 4 plus 6 square root of 10, and sue me, it's been a long summer, square root of 10, 3.3333, square root 10 equals 3.16, jeez, what am I saying, it has been a long summer, I can't do math anymore, so I could define A, oh, I just made a little line on there, stop that, I could define vector A as 3.16, that would be its magnitude, so 3.16, but that is what vector A is. Oh, we could go back and even find this angle if we wanted to in here, but a lot of times we don't have to do that, and that's why we've got this notation. Uh, let's take a look at this other guy over here. It says 5i6j, so that means that this vector is defined by coming over 5 in the x, but now there's significance. This says minus 6j. And that means that the Y component is coming down 6. So now we could do the same thing. We could find the resultant, the magnitude of this vector. Uh, uh, come on, uh, 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 uh. Man, talk about people that really love drawing lines. But we could define the magnitude of this vector, which is nothing more than its resultant. So the resultant of this vector is, and we can sit here, that would be 5 square plus 6 square. And we'll take a square root, and that will be the magnitude of our vector. Ah, I'll stop being lazy. I'll give you all those lines. Although I do find three lines to be a bit excessive. But anyway, hey, that's just me. So this is going to be the radical of 25 plus 36. And the answer is 7.8, or radical 61. So this vector, we've got 7.8, and that is the magnitude. Notice how I keep saying that word. Magnitude of vector B, which is 7.8. Now, a very common thing to be asked to do to be asked to be done. Man, I can't even speak the English language after a summer away from school. A lot of times you're asked to uh, you're asked to say something like this. What is A plus B? You're asked to sum those up. Well, that's no big deal. If you're asked to add the components of A and B, just sum them. So in this case, uh, vector A, 2i and 5i, 2 plus 5, 
would be equal to, so A plus B would be 7i hat. And then let's take a look. A is plus 3j, B is minus 6j, so 3 minus 6 means we're at minus 3j. Okay, Mr. Cole, so what, what does this mean? Well, it means this. Yeah, I get to use one of these fancy little tools. It means if I added A and B, it would combine together to make a vector that did this, that went over 7 in the X, come down 3 in the Y, and then my resultant would be... And so what if I was asked to find the resultant or the magnitude... What if I was asked to find the magnitude of A and B? What if I was asked this? Uh, I spend more time drawing these lines than anything. Well, it's simple. The magnitude of that would just be 7 square plus 3 square square roots. And I could have my magnitude at that point. So radical of 49 plus 9, 58, which would be 7.6. So that is 7.6 for magnitude. Well, if I was asked to find theta, no big deal. Tan, negative 1, of opposite over adjacent. And now I've got this. Uh, let's see here. Shift. Uh, I forgot shift. Shift. Tangent of 3. Ooh, what are you doing here? You're looking crazy. 3 sevenths. And my answer is 23.2 degrees. Look at this. It's like streamlined vectorism at this point. But that is a general idea of what you're asked to do here. Uh, so you could be asked to subtract these two vectors. Um, what about if you had IJK? What about if we had that IJK notation? Well, if you had two vectors, and it, and it wouldn't matter if you had five vectors. You could have vector A, vector... Oh, let's get crazy. Let's go back and rewrite this as vector L, vector Q, and I don't know. Some other strange vector notation. Doesn't matter. You could have four of them. And it could be 5i minus 3j plus... 4K, 4K, not poor K, but 4K. Anyway, and this then is equal to 7I plus 1J minus 3K. Great. So what would be, what would be L plus Q? Oh, that's simple. That would just be 12 uh, minus 2. Man, I love this stuff. Plus 1K. What about if you were asked to find the resultant or the magnitude of those? You're probably wondering, how would I do this? Well, first, got to draw a bunch of lines. <laughs> Make sure everybody knows you're doing this. And then all you're going to do is this. 12 square plus negative 2 square plus 1 square. And then you take your square root and add a random ampersand there and stop that. So anyway, pull back up my calculator. Radical of 12 square plus 2 square plus, yes, I didn't worry about my, <laughs> yes, I'm now squaring one just to do it in my calculator. Square root of 149 or 12.2 is my resultant magnitude. I tell you what, I am absolutely crazy about vectors at this point. But anyway, this, I was going to write a unit down, but I don't guess I had one. But anyway, that gives you a quick rundown on the idea of IJK notation. And we will see you later on the Turd Ferg Network. Yay, yay, look at me. I can draw lots of random lines. Stop watching this video. It's going to get crazy now. Ah, ah it reminds me of the dot game on Lloyd's or something. I don't know. Like